All right, headline number four, Ann. On Tuesday this week, Wayfair opened a new store in Massachusetts featuring their all-modern brand. According to Home Textiles Today, the goal for the new store is to blend the best of the digital and physical shopping experience, allowing shoppers to see and touch products in person while offering digital access to product options, design ideas, and delivery options. Something that sounds like anything any retailer could say. This new store, located at 310 Market Street, is about 10,000 square feet and will be followed by another all-modern store in Dedham, Massachusetts later this year. And my question for you, as a recent Wayfair purchaser, yeah, how excited on a scale of 1 to 10 would you be to shop this all-modern store from Wayfair? You know... I think for me, I need to get a better understanding of what the best of digital and physical shopping experiences is, is like in real life in the store before I make that call. Um, my expectations are low. Are they though? They're low, right? Well, just because even from a shopping standpoint, yeah, yeah. I, the, the problem that I have with this though, Chris, is that Wayfair has an opportunity to do really, really well here. I mean, they're coming mm-hmm. in, they can beat everybody else on price. Mm-hmm. And when you take this all modern brand that does look like a West Elm, like a room and board, looks but exactly like. looks like you could, you could grab a bunch of people. And especially if you can really add like a convenience element to this, where, you know, you're do, you're using scan and go, you're doing something else that you can't do in those legacy furniture retailers. I think that they have a huge opportunity to capture this, you know, this Gen Z audience furnishing their first homes who like and adore the style. I don't know that it'll happen though. Yeah. I, I love that you brought up the part about how they position this with the modern styling. And I want to, I want to, I want to hear more about what, what you've got to say on that too, but like, I'm going to queue up my second rant and oh my this gosh. one, this two and one, this one could be bigger. This one. So look out Steve Dennis, cause this one could be bigger, but I think it's a good idea. Yep. But I'm worried this is terrible execution right out of the get go. Okay. Like you said, it Wayfair needs stores. Yes. But this is not the way to do it. And I ranted on this the first time around when they when they first announced it. But now I think there's even more nuance to it. Um, and I heard from some Wayfair employees on social media that messaged me directly on LinkedIn that my commentary was actually on the mark. So that gives me some some validity to what I've got what I'm about to say here. But to me, the all modern designation here means absolutely nothing to me. Okay. Um, and the other problem with it is having, having a home furnishings background is modern furniture is generally a high end experience. Mm-hmm. You're a specific type of customer. If you're looking to put modern furniture into your home. Okay. Um, and so if anything, I worry this could end up hurting Wayfair's brand perception in the long run because people will get into that store, see what it act, what this product is actually under this brand and be mm-hmm. like, wow, this doesn't look like the glossed up pictures online that I thought it was. And therefore it could start to question the quality. Mm -hmm. And so you're right. You're going to have to have the best of the best omni-channel experience, which you're alluding to, which as you said, for all the reasons you're right, I think you should be skeptical of it. Walmart. And that's the thing. That's what pisses me off about Wayfair. Wayfair isn't chic. It's not chic at all. It's mass. Okay. It's mass. It's about, and it's about Mm -hmm. damn. I think it's, it's about damn time. They understand that and express themselves in the physical world that capitalizes on who they are as a brand. I just feel like this brand is lost. They're mass. I mean, they have Kelly Clarkson doing their commercials. Yeah. That's, 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 that's appealing to a mass market. Mm -hmm. And I will take this to my grave. Final point. And I will say here, CEO Niraj Shah, Niraj Shah. I've met him a number of times. He is the most left brain person I've ever met running a retail company. He's great at e-commerce, a genius at Mm e-commerce. I will give him that but he doesn't get the intuitive side of physical retailing. He doesn't. And that's the problem here. And this is a great example of that because it just isn't going to meet the needs of the consumer in the long run. I don't know that I completely agree with you. Okay. I think that it does meet the needs of some consumers. And even though the quality isn't quite there, they're, they're going in on price point, And for some people, they don't care. I mean, I've sold enough resold Wayfair furniture to know that some people just want it to look cool. They don't care that it's not the quality. I mean, you have the same argument, I would say for our Ikea, like it's not going to be as comfortable, but it looks a certain way. It meets a certain aesthetic at a certain price point that you need it to. So I would say, yes, you do have the traditional people who are used to shopping in a restoration hardware room and board or, you know, uh, West Elm, but 
there are times where it's okay to have this. It's the execution though, is going to be make or break. So we, we got to see what happens in that space. I just, I wouldn't have led with a modern brand. I just wouldn't have. Hmm. I just don't, I just, you know, from my years of selling this stuff at target at mass, what I modern's guess, a tough in sell. Closing, what would you have done then? If, it, if you're doing a Wayfair physical store, like what? Just do a freaking Wayfair store. Get uh, Wayfair right. You know, I don't know. I think that's get so the brand. That's your brand. Yeah. Get Wayfair right. What are you going to have all these separate brands of a store? Makes no sense. I guess. I just feel like Wayfair is huge. I think you start like looking like a Bed Bath & Beyond if you just do a Wayfair store. That's my that's my point in the initial rant. Like make a big freaking store like an Ikea. Mm-hmm. Make a mega store under the Wayfair brand. Okay. Hit Ikea where it hurts. You can be better from them from an omni-channel perspective. Wafer, for Christ's sake. All right, sorry. Wafer, for Christ's sake, like we just talked about in the last, is having to rewire all their operations for e-commerce. Yeah. You can build these stores fresh from the ground up and do it better than them. Right. Exactly. And offer more. Here's the other piece that's different. Yes. Wafer's one is, um, e- Ikea's one aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Wafer can offer a variety of, of aesthetics, sure. which people want to go get that chore done on a Saturday or Sunday, furnish their house. They don't just always want the Ikea aesthetic. Fair. That's the opportunity here, folks. Okay. That's what Wayfair needs to understand. All right, I'm done. Okay. All right.